This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my review of the original X-Men trilogy. Well, I was thinking of putting Days of Future Past on here, but I don't have a lot of time to review it. So I'm just going to go with the trilogy right now, and I'll go for everything with the younger cast next week. But with it, going into the first film... X-Men, I think I really enjoyed this. I did not really grow up watching X-Men or X-2. So I don't have the close connection that other people did with those films. But I still enjoy them. And with it, when I watched them, X-Men I think is one I like a little more. Although I know a lot more people like X-2. I don't know, I just like the first one a little more with it being a little more traditional superhero although I can't see the appeal with the more complex stories being told in X2 and yeah honestly I really do like the first film and I think they did a great job with it and it's the only reason that we have more modern superhero movies today and I appreciate it for that the same with Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, and Michael Heaton's Batman, and with that, honestly, I really did enjoy this film, and X2. I enjoy that movie, too. Like I said, I like more of X-Men, the first one, than X2, but it's still a really good film. There's some great characters like Nightcrawler, and Striker is an interesting villain. And yeah, just watching it is a good film overall and with it I don't have too many problems with it it's just I personally like the first one a little more and finally moving on to X3 yeah this is their first phase during the Dark Phoenix and it doesn't have a good reason like the other Dark Phoenix adaptation does and with this the film, I don't think, is completely terrible, but it's also not good, and with it, it's still a pretty bad film, and doesn't do the Dark Phoenix Saga well. It has the cure stuff, which I feel like looked kind of unnecessary, and I don't know what's going on with the plot of this movie. It's just, I don't know, a lot of people will say it's not good, but I mean, do agree with that, and I uh, have no idea what they were thinking about when they made this. But yeah, honestly, I don't have too much to say about this trilogy. The first two films are really good, and the second one's really bad. It's not terrible, but it's still really bad. And with that, I want to know what you think of it. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.